Hi guys, today we are going to be discussing on how we can use artificial intelligence to speed up our animation workflow. Last year I got an opportunity to use Wonder Studio. It's a paid platform that is provided by the Wonder Dynamics team. The result of that was the video that we've just seen in the introduction. So this was a custom character that I uploaded to Wonder Studio. His name is Morris and I prepared him, I rigged him for Wonder Studio and also included blend shapes because I wanted to test out the full extent of what Wonder Studio is able to, to give me. So let's just play this back. Uh, let's just play this back guys and really take a closer look at the performance that we got from Wonder Studio then I'll comment. So I'm just going to play this back. Okay, so this is the performance um, that uh, Wonder Studio gave me right out of the box from the reference video. This was, uh, let me just show you the reference video. You've seen it in the in the introduction, but I just want to um, show you so that you see them side by side. Um, let me mute this audio track. Okay, so just scrolling through, you know, I had some issues with the with the with the fingers and the face. I was not really happy with the face. With the face, it did good with the with the eyes and the overall performance it's just amazing guys because this you get this in less than an hour which is really impressive so i really hope that you guys can see the potential that this platform has because with our workflow that i just demonstrated over the past courses you can already see that this result that we get from Wonder studio it can now work as our first um as our first play blast the one that we have after our blocking plus this is now what we can use as our as our first uh, play blast and from this point onwards it's just a matter of like cleaning up uh, the things that are not working and uh, really polishing out the performance to get the final result so let's now quickly jump into blender and take a closer look at the blend file that i got okay guys now we are inside blender so this was the blend file that I got from Wonder, Wonder Dynamics. This is what they give you. We've got uh, your rig. These are the bones that I rigged the character with from Mixable. So let's just scroll through the performance. Let me just go into perspective view. So already now this is where you start to see the issues that I was mentioning. You see the fingers, the intersections. Those are the things that you really now need to go in and clean up. And also the the way some intersections you see those intersections in the legs right there. Let's look into the camera view, see those intersections that are happening 
intersections and also another thing like uh, Wonder Studio it really tries to make everything look as good as possible in the camera view but if you go into the 3d view that's when you see a lot of issues so let's just scroll you see those those turns those spins you know you really have a lot of work you really have a lot of work so you need to watch out you should you should be aware of these guys you are going to have these issues look at those spins the feet are not planted on the ground there's a lot of sliding happening so it's really a lot of work especially if you now want to clean up your your animation but the good thing is uh, although we get these these bonds we can always use the Mixamo plugin to give us a control rig so that you can better clean up your animation so this uh, is the Mixamo plugin you can create a control rig just pressing on this button and you can have the controls this was my cleanup scene this is the scene that I then used to clean up the performance that Maurice was doing so you're already familiar with this setup I put my reference video in the bottom left corner here and uh, right right here this is the control rig the Mixamo control rig that I was now using to clean up the uh, the animation another thing that I should uh, probably tell you guys is that uh, the Wonder Studio uh, face um, performance, you cannot clean it up. You can, but it's pretty difficult because uh, they do not provide a face rig or, or a control panel, which would be much easier if you really wanted to tweak out the facial performance. So what I ended up doing, uh, a workaround that I did for this uh, particular performance is actually cut out the, the face of Morris that I got from Wonder Studio. You see, this is a separate body so this is the uh, one that I got from Wonder Studio I actually cut out the, the head and because Morris is a rig that I already rigged I then took the face rig that I have of Morris and I attached the the face rig to the body performance that I got from Wonder Studio so that as uh, the workaround that I used for this particular performance so these are two different these are two separate meshes this is the my personal rig, uh, the face, and this one is the performance from Wonder Studio. Okay, when I was now cleaning up the performance, let's just go through it. So this was the performance. I just took this as my my detailed as my detailing, and I was just going through, looking at my reference, and uh, cleaning up. I cleaned up the fingers that I mentioned the issues that I found you know the fingers I just made sure that they were doing as they were supposed to and I also pushed some of the pauses in the hips the hip movements you know I also cleaned up those uh, the biggest issues that I had I have to confess were the feet you know the sliding of the feet there were some moves where you had to keep the feet planted on the on the ground and also those uh, intersections that we had earlier uh, so clean those up but as you can see even in the final if you really take a closer look at the final thing and the final video rendered image that I posted in the introduction you can also see a little bit of sliding in the feet so that's why I mentioned that yeah you have to really uh, get in there and uh, clean up those those movements but it is a good starting point guys if you're really short on time and uh, you need to get a project out it's um, it's a platform that you can you can utilize it's not it's not it's not bad you can work with it okay so this was the process guys this is um, how I did it how I cleaned up that performance so now let's take a look at uh, facial performance 
facial performance with Wonder Studio. Okay guys, I just want us to take a look at this, at the Wonder Studio facial performance. So the clip that I used, it's uh, by a uh, Zimbabwean TikToker. I'm Zimbabwean, so she was uh, doing, uh, it's in Shona. So I've decided to put some uh, subtitles so that you can see what she's saying but what i want you to focus on is the facial performance the reason why i did this is i wanted to test if wonder studio can be it works with like different languages if it's able to capture those mouth movements so i just wanted to take a look at this performance then i'll comment this character the uh, performance that was given by wonder studio is the one in the video with the sandy character the one on the far right with the black with the black girl it's uh, a manual animation that i did and i'm going to comment on why i ended up doing it manually but let's just take a look at this performance yes, can more? Yeah. <laughs> Such kind of nonsense. Ask about the Oh, you Huh? I was kind of my genetic business on this. I'm going to come on a shop and open up. Tau, Lira, Raven, Yenima Placing, Drowton will come be a place. I'm never going to go on my face. I will good. Wait, we ain't turning to a good and it looks one of Okay, so this was the performance. Um, I was really happy, guys. Honestly, I was really happy with the performance that I got, um, with, with the Sandy character and also. Uh, another thing that I was happy with, I don't know, uh, with the, this, maybe it's because it's a close-up shot, there was not like that halo of haziness around the character, which I got with the dance performance with Morris. That is usually a big turn-off for me. You know, when Wonder Studio replaces a character in, in a video, there's always that uh, halo of haziness around the character, but this looks very crisp, the performance and uh yeah i was really impressed with the with the outcome and it was really able to capture even the the mouth the mouth shapes but uh the reason now let me just mute this audio trick i just want to scroll through this performance the reason why i ended up using uh this this is a manual animation that i did in blender the reason why i ended up discarding uh, this performance it's uh, because number one, I experienced uh, some issues with uh, uploading my with using my own custom character. I uploaded a custom character into Wonder Studio, but the problem with Wonder Studio is that it does not give you a preview before rendering. So I only got to find out after rendering that it had actually cut out my character. My character was cut out from. Uh, it was only showing this part, the upper the this part. Of the face and everything else was not visible so i could not use that render and i was also running out of out of points because every time you render in wonder studio they subtract points which are the number of seconds that you have left so that was an issue uh my issue number one issue number two i've already mentioned it the fact that i cannot now um, clean up the animation because as you can see of course i love the performance but this one is a, a close-up shot you know people are going to be focused on the facial performance so i really want to get it as good as possible so there are some shapes like maybe the o's and uh, the f's some things which need you to just get in there and clean up but i cannot do that now in blender because there's no face rig and there are no uh, there's no uh, there's no facial control panel if only there was uh, um a face board or oh, similar to unreal engine let me just show you something this is a character that i've recently made uh, for my online shop her name is runo uh, but what i want to draw your attention to guys is this let me just i was doing an uh a test for meta human this is unreal's unreal engine's 
um, meta human animator so what i want to show you is if like if wonder studio had this this would be amazing you know meta human um, meta human animator they provide um, this face spot that's what i was talking about it's really a necessity especially for us animators you see because while you get this facial performance transfer from your meta human to your custom character you also have you know this option of uh, tweaking your facial expressions because there are those things that you really want to tweak and there are those poses that you really want to push so this is like uh, what i'm talking about if wonder studio provided uh, a face board or a face rig it would have been amazing especially for uh, the facial performance because while it is good i mean you still need to tweak it uh, you still need to tweak it further in in blender so yeah guys um this is uh, this is my take on uh, wonder studio it's a good platform although it's paid um, if you find yourself maybe in a situation where you are short on time and uh, you want to try it you can give it a try uh, um, otherwise uh, it's bye for now guys